Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Find the antiderivative of x plus 7 divided by x plus 1 with respect to x. Step number 1. You have to look at this and break it down as a sum of two parts. So if you look at the common denominator, some students call this the common d, common denominator, x plus 1. Now what about the numerator? When you think about x plus 7, Break this into x plus 1 plus 6. Again, put a set of brackets. You're integrating this with respect to x. So really, x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 is going to be 1 plus 6 divided by x plus 1 in brackets. Again, integrating it with respect to x. Now, if you think about the antiderivative of 1, that's going to give you exactly x. And... If you think about the number 6, which could be brought to the front, and you think about the antiderivative of 1 divided by x plus 1, that's going to be ln in absolute value brackets of x plus 1. Don't forget, add a constant c. Now, if you want to find um, the answer by double checking, or if you want to verify that your answer is accurate, you can double check. Now, let me demonstrate this. So, spend that one extra minute double check all you have to do is write down the answer go back find the derivative when you find a derivative dy by dx this equals to 1 plus 6 divided by x plus 1 the derivative of a constant of course would be 0 and if you combine this as one fraction this will be exactly x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 plus 6 divided by x plus 1 which will give you x plus 7 divided by x plus 1 as expected. I hope this makes sense.